Well, East Nashville is home to another hip and unique restaurant. Little Octopus opened in June. There's been quite a buzz about it. Daniel Hergen is the chef. He's going to show us now how to make one of their most popular dishes on the menu, and we're really excited about it. We're taking some fingerling potatoes and putting a fabulous chimichurri on them. We've got some broccolini going on. There's all kinds of great things going on with this recipe. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's also very simple, which is what I like about it. Yeah, and um, we do, too, because we want to try to make this at home. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the most important step, uh, part of this process is a really, really hot pan. Okay. Uh, we're trying to get some caramelization on our broccolini and our potatoes as well. Um, so you want to make sure they're really, really hot. Okay, so you're using fingerling potatoes. Yeah. It's just basically potatoes in a different shape, right? Well, yeah, I mean, it's a, uh, it's a baby potato. Yeah. Uh, we like them because they're very creamy, but they also have a relatively high sugar content. Okay. So they're going to caramelize really nicely. Nice. Maybe and then nice. broccolini. Broccolini, yeah, and you can use really, um, any any variety of broccoli or uh, any number of brassicas really uh, broccoli rob works really well for this. Okay. Um, or even if you can only get your hands on just regular broccoli, that's fine too. Okay. Um, the big thing is you just want to get a nice deep char on it. Okay. Um, and we use just a little bit of sea salt on there. Um, We're just gonna let that work for a yeah, little Yeah, yeah. When you're whenever you're caramelizing or charring anything like that, you want to let the pans do the work for you. Okay. Um, you could also do this on the grill. You know, if you if you want to cook outside, oh, you don't want to nice. heat up the whole house. You know, fire up the grill and just lay it on there. And yeah. You'll get the you'll get the same effect. It'll be and really don't nice. be tempted to turn it too often. No, you want to let it sit. You know, you want to let it take its time and really develop the flavors. Okay, so while we're letting that sit for a minute, why don't we take a look at a picture of your restaurant? Because you got to see the outside of it <laughs> to really appreciate it. This is beautiful. Tell us about Little Octopus. It's a really unique space. You know, Little Octopus is, is very much a marriage between, um, you know, what I like to eat and, uh, you know, the owners lived in, in Southern California for a long time. I lived in Miami for a long time. So it's sort of a fusion of those two ideologies about food. And it's, it's very fresh and light. And uh, we like to say fresh, clean, and vibrant. Right. Um, you know, it's sort of, it's food that's, you can indulge in, but you don't have to feel bad about. Yeah. Um, and a lot of that is just bringing food from, from all over the world, particularly um, the Caribbean and Central and South America. Um, you know, lots of different acids and vinegars and fresh lime juice um, to really make something that's very bright. Um, but it's also very clean. It's not going to weigh you down. Talk about bright. Why don't you hand me that chimichurri and let's let's show that to everybody. We Absolutely. mixed this up a little bit ahead of time so you wouldn't have to listen to the food processor. But this is great. What's in your chimichurri? Uh, so this is an Argentine style chimichurri. Um, and it's parsley, uh, lots of garlic, white onion, cilantro. Uh, we use a chili blend, um, which is ancho and cayenne, uh, yeah. paprika, a really good quality olive oil, and just a little red wine vinegar. And I tell you what, I stuck a spoon in, actually, I stuck my finger in it, I must tell you. It's so good. <laughs> this is really delicious. So this is going to coat your potatoes. Yes. Yeah. And you can use this. Um, the recipe that uh, we've given you is, makes about a quart of it. Mm -hmm. um, and it'll stay in the refrigerator for about 10 days. And this is excellent on just about anything you can get on the grill. It's going to be terrific. When you put it all together, that's what it's going to look like. You're going to serve it all together with the chimichurri on top. You can get this over at Little Octopus as well as a bunch of other fantastic fantastic things. I think you're going to love this recipe. You're going to love the restaurant too. Thanks so much for being with us, Chef Daniel. We appreciate it. This is recipe number 5406. It's available online at newschannel5.com or you can get it over at Little Octopus. They're located at 604 Gallatin Avenue in East Nashville.